Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. This is a bargain of the week, but also a review of the Physician's Formula new collection, or I should say 80th anniversary co collection and a new, couple new items, a new item, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Physician's Formula has been around for 80 years. How did I not even know that? That is crazy. So um, I love Physician's Formula. They do have some hit or miss products. So I found this at Rite Aid. I found these items at Rite Aid. And I think that is where you can find the collection. Um, I always feel like Rite Aid is really good with having the new stuff first. Um, it's probably going to be at other drugstores. It is a limited edition. I did not see it at Ulta. I did see something else I'm going to show you though at Ulta. And I've noticed that the 80th anniversary edition is not on the website of like Ulta and places you can shop online. It is on the Physician's Formula website. So find it in stores or get it on the Physician's Formula website. But let me tell you what I think. Okay, so there are a few items. I didn't get all of them because Physician's Formula isn't expensive, but it's not cheap. <laughs> the items range in the 10, I want to say 10 to $15 range. Oftentimes it depends on where you live and the retailer. So they have a, let's just start with what I don't like and then I'll show you what I like. So this is the La Velvet Foundation and I'm not really, I don't have luck with cream foundations. And to be honest with you, I didn't have luck with this one. And it's not even, I didn't even get to wearing it because the shade selection is so bad. You guys, this is, the, there's four shades. And it's ivory, something else, and something else. And this is the lightest shade. Do you see that? Normally, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of orange. Normally Physicians Formula, their flaw is that they are too light. They always have shade, they're, I will say that they, their foundation and powder and BB cream and all of that, those shades are so inconsistent. So I'm surprised in 80 years they haven't figured that out. I'm sorry, Physicians Formula. Oh, look, I, my, I'm sensitive. Don't worry. That's not like anything bad about the product that I'm read right there. Okay, so this is a cream compact foundation, and it is in really cool vintage packaging, so it's sort of a throwback. It has SPF 15. Um, it, it is very creamy. It doesn't have, it kind of has maybe a powder finish um, or a matte finish but it's just in a very odd selection of shades. So if you find your shade and you enjoy cream foundations in a compact, you might like it. Um, but for me, I wasn't really able to do anything with it. So that was kind of a bummer, but eh, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, so then what I am wearing is the lipstick. You guys, this is a winner. So this is the, uh, limited edition hypoallergenic lipstick. That's all it's called is lipstick. It comes in four shades. It comes in nude, coral, berry, and red. And I got nude and it is really nice. I think this was $10.99 at my Rite Aid. Might be $10.99 on the Physician's Formula website too. Uh, it is a Definitely more of like a vintage style tube, kind of like, not quite like Besame because it's got the clear plastic cap, but it reminds me of the way lipsticks were formed with the two, kind of the, the double edge bevel, and it helps you to make your line, and then you can do that, and then you can, yeah. So this is a really nice formula. It doesn't taste anything. It's not... It's not matte, it's not too creamy, it's just a really good lipstick. Also, I am wearing the special highlighter. This is a Mineral Glow Pearls. Now, 
This, I think, is the same as their other Glow Pearls highlighter that they've had, which I've actually featured. But this one has a little bit more of a glitter top coat to it. So I'm feeling like it needs to kind of settle down a bit. But it's a very frosty kind of pink sheen. It has more of a white cast. So it's very pretty. I love Physician Formula highlighters. They are really nice. This one is in the shade Pearl. There's only one in the limited edition category. So if you find it and you like Physician Formula highlighters like this, um, this is a really good one. The glitter is coming off, so you're left with more of just a sheen. Yay! But your first application, be prepared for some sparkle. But I kind of like this type of um, I kind of like this type of highlighter because lately, when you really want that pop, um, the sort of more frosty, icy shades do that for you. Now, what's new but not in the 80th anniversary collection is the butter highlight. Um, or excuse me, butter highlighters. So if you have tried the ColourPop highlighters, these will look so similar. Um, they're about ten dollars. So these, this I found at Ulta. Um, it's the Butter Muru Muru Butter Highlighter, and you guys have seen they have butter bronzers and butter blush, and now they have butter highlighters. These are so cool. Okay, these are that creamy, spongy formula when you touch it in the jar, and it turns out to be powdery. This shade is called Champagne, and it's very nice. So I think these are winners. There's Rose, or Rose Gold, Champagne, Pearl, which is very frosty white. Is it Pearl or is it something else? and bronze. So there are four shades and they feel so creamy. Do you see how I moved the product? Like it moves. It's that spongy, it's that cushion. So you can really, really put it on with your fingers. I actually put mine on with a brush. I did. But you can, you can dab it on with your fingers if you like. Hey, why not, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh. I just put it on the top tip of my nose. That is a controversial place to put your highlighter. Some people are like, oh my god, the tip of the nose, don't do that. And then some are like, that's where they put it. So whatever floats your boat, make sure you shut the lids. This isn't a compact. These are pots. And make sure you shut the lid. Otherwise, your product will dry out. So this is fun. Um, I like these. I think they're really pretty. If you see them, I recommend them. They smell good. The Muru Muru is supposed to, you know, of course, be beneficial for the skin, so we shall see. So there you have it. Physician's Formula, new, everything, some hits, some misses, and I will list whatever I can below so you can find it online, and if that's not going to cut it for you, I wish you luck in finding it in stores. And yeah, so let me know what you think. Ooh, I feel like I'm even more highlighted on this side. Let me know what you think, and I hope you've subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, please. And I will see you next time. Bye.